Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram that consists of uh, two triangles, this uh, blue right triangle uh, A, B, C, and this other uh, yellow triangle uh, A, C, D, such that the area of this uh, blue triangle is 25 uh, centimeter square, and this uh, side length uh, A, C is uh, 5 times square root of 5 centimeters and moreover this angle uh, ACB is uh, equal to this uh, angle uh, ACD. In other words, uh, these two angles are congruent and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle uh, ACD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle. So therefore, let's go ahead and make an observation. We can see that this uh, yellow shaded triangle area is going to be equal to this whole uh, trapezoid uh, area minus uh, the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC. And now we know that uh, this blue triangle ABC area is uh, 25. So therefore, now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid. And now let's recall the definition of a trapezoid. Sometimes we call it uh, trapezium, a quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of uh, parallel sides. As you can see, this is our trapezoid and these uh, sides uh, are uh, parallel to each other. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to height uh, times uh, A plus B all over 2. And in our case, uh, this side uh, is our height uh, H. This uh, side is our base A. And this side uh, is our base B. So therefore, now our task is uh, to find the value of A, value of B, and value of this uh, height uh, h and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, blue triangle uh, a b c let me label uh, this side uh, of this blue triangle as lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase uh, b and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height in our case our uh, base is a the height is b and the area is 25 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Our area is uh, 25 equals to 1 divided by 2 times uh, A times B. Let's multiply both uh, sides by 2 to remove this uh, fraction. And here we can see 1 over 2 and 2 cancel each other out. So therefore A times B equals to 2 times 25 is going to give us uh, 50. Let me label uh, this equation as our equation uh, number one. And now let's recall the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case, uh, this side is a, this side is b, and this uh, hypotenuse, I'm going to label that one as c. And in our case, uh, our side c is 5 times uh, square root of 5. Let's fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So therefore, we are going to have a square plus uh, b square equal to 5 times the square root of 5 whole square. And if we simplify the right hand side, we are going to get a square plus b square equals to 125. Let me label this one as our equation number 2. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus b square plus uh, 2ab. And here in our case uh, a square plus b square is uh, 125 and a times b is uh, 50. So therefore I'm going to replace this part uh, by 125 and this uh, ab part uh, by 50 over here. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So this is going to be 125 plus uh, 2 times uh, 50. So therefore our a plus b whole square turns out to be 225. 
let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our a plus b value turns out to be 15 let me call this our equation uh, number three and now let's recall another famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus uh, two times uh, a b and once again from this equation one and two a square plus b square is 125 and a times b is uh, 50 so therefore we are going to substitute those values so this is going to be 125 minus uh, 2 times 50 over here so therefore our a minus b whole square turns out to be 25 let me undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our a minus b value turns out to be 5 let me label this one as our question number 4 and now we got a system of two equations uh, a plus b is 15 and a minus b is 5 and now we are going to solve for a and for b and if we add uh, these two equations this positive b and negative b is uh, gone so therefore 2 times a is going to be equal to 20 let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate a so therefore our a value turns out to be positive 10 and here's our next step we are going to substitute a equals to 10 value in this uh, equation 3 to solve for b and here's our equation 3 I'm going to substitute a equals to 10 value so this is going to give us 10 plus b equals to 15 let's subtract 10 from both sides this is gone so therefore our b value turns out to be 5 centimeter so thus our a value turns out to be 10 centimeter and b value is 5 centimeter and now our next task is to calculate the length ad this side length and now let's make an observation we can see that this angle and this angle they are going to be congruent since they are alternate interior angles so therefore if this angle is theta then this uh, angle has got to be theta as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ACD and we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle is congruent to this uh, angle and since uh, this is an isosceles triangle so therefore this side length uh, AD must be equal to this side length uh, CD and now we are going to draw some uh, auxiliary lines as you can see in this uh, next step we have created uh, this uh, right triangle uh, CED and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CED let me label uh, this uh, side uh, CD as uh, X and since uh, this side length uh, CD equal to this side length uh, AD so therefore this side length uh, AD has got to be x uh, as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this side length uh, a b is 5 so therefore uh, this side length uh, e c is going to be 5 as well and moreover uh, this side length uh, b c is uh, 10 so therefore this whole uh, side length uh, a e is going to be 10 uh, as well so therefore uh, this side uh, d e is going to be 10 uh, minus uh, x and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem uh, on this uh, triangle to solve for uh, x and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our uh, hypotenuse is x uh, and our other two side lengths are uh, 10 minus x uh, and 5 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we are going to put down 10 uh, minus uh, x uh, whole square plus uh, 5 uh, square equal to x uh, square and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2ab plus uh, b square we are going to apply it uh, on this uh, binomial on the left hand side so therefore this is going to give us uh, 100 minus uh, 20 
x plus x square and then plus 25 equal to x square and here we can see x square and x square cancels out so therefore we are ended up with 125 minus 20x equal to 0 let me move this 20x on the other side so therefore 20x is going to be equal to 125 let's divide both sides by 20 to isolate x so therefore x value is going to be if we reduce the right hand side that is going to give us 25 divided by 4 so therefore our x value turns out to be 25 divided by 4 in other words this side length ad is going to be 25 divided by 4 and now we are going to find the area of this trapezoid abcd and now let's recall once again the area of a trapezoid formula area equals to height h times a plus b all over 2 and in our case our height h is 5 a equals to 10 and b equals to 25 divided by 4 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we're going to put down uh, 5 uh, divided by 2 times uh, our a value is uh, 10 plus uh, 25 uh, divided by 4 and if we add and simplify everything uh, our area of this uh, trapezoid uh, turns out to be 325 uh, divided by 8 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle uh, ACD we already figured out uh, our trapezoid area as uh, this one and our this uh, blue triangle ABC area is uh, 25 so let's go ahead and fill in the blank so trapezoid area is uh, 325 uh, divided by 8 uh, minus uh, 25 and if we simplify everything uh, our uh, yellow area turns out to be 125 uh, divided by 8 and if we put in a decimal form that is going to be equal to 15.625 centimeter square so thus our yellow triangle area turns out to be 15.625 centimeter square Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.